Buona giornata and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania if you're new here. So today we are going to talk about some new makeup releases. So I feel like last week when I filmed this, I was like, there's nothing I'm interested in. Like I wasn't too excited about a lot of things. And then I went on vacation and then it was like, all these things started popping up. It was like new palettes, new this, new that, new that. And I was like, okay, all right. Now I'm excited, especially now that we have the Sephora VIB sale in a week. I'm very happy about these. So we are gonna talk about new makeup. Please don't forget to subscribe before we get started. I really appreciate you guys. Two, these help me out to know what you guys are looking for from me, like what types of reviews you want, what you want me to pick up. So I always appreciate when you guys comment down below your opinions or you talk me out of things, which is also great for my wallet. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. You guys like these nice tan lines? I. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. It is so bad. Like you, you would think I'm wearing a bikini all the time right now, but mostly just up here. It's like my backside and none of that got any, any tanner, just, just the front. Anyways, in case you guys were wondering, um, <laughs> we are going to get started. I, my husband, I just, he was trying to go to the bathroom in the one right next to this room. And I was like, no, you gotta go downstairs. He's like, but this one has the bidet. And I was like, I don't care. Go downstairs. Like you came home half hour early. You're on my schedule. So. First thing I want to talk about is there's definitely a lot of new foundations this month. I feel like we have the Fenty new foundation, we have the Anastasia new foundation, we have Pat McGrath new foundation, just so many Urban Decay. So eventually I want to do reviews of all of them, picking up samples. I am not that crazy to spend that much amount of money on all these new foundations until I know what I think. Um, but that Pat McGrath one like stole my heart, so I kind of am thinking of getting it on the sale. But on the topic of foundations, oh, oh, my door just shut um, by itself. So anyways, on that topic, Milk Makeup is actually coming out with a new foundation. It is already released. It is a stick foundation. I, I was kind of like, maybe I'll give it a try, but I don't think I will just because the reviews that are already up say like it does cling to dry patches and I do have dry patches, so I just don't think it would be flattering on me. I've only really found like the Hourglass Stick Foundation and the Makeup Forever one were ones that worked well, but I'm not really a stick foundation type of person. I don't know why, but I feel like you go through product faster, but that could just be in my head. But they are coming out with highlighters and those look so pretty. Like the highlighters in this collection, not like they look like anything super new. Does that matter? Does it matter? Okay, they look stunning. So I might go in store and swatch those and maybe put that on my list, my wish list. So yes, foundation, no. Highlighters, always. Okay, Carly Bible is coming out with, well, she just did come out with, they released today. Okay, be proud of me. I did not order this. Oh, you guys know I love nudes. So of course I was looking at the nude lipstick set, but I've never tried Il Maquillage, um, and I like trying new brands, but like it's not the cheapest. And I was just like, do you need a nude lip liner? No. Do you need a nude lipstick? You have a hundred. Like I'm really trying to talk myself out of getting it, and it looks like a darker nude, not like a dark nude, but like for my skin tone, I don't like nude nudes where I look washed out. Like I'm, I'm more of a pinky nude person, so I'm trying to really say no, um, but it's. It's a little bit like, hmm, yeah. Like I'm like the devil in me might come out at night and order this. But for right now, I'm trying to say no because I'm like it's $39 for the set and then plus like shipping costs. I'm just kind of like, you don't need it. Don't do it. I'm trying really hard. Next up, Jackie, Jackie and Anastasia. I can't say her last name. It always comes off as I, 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 Jackie, I, 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 I can't, I can't say it. I don't know why. Just, I don't know. I don't know. But the palette actually looks gorgeous. I don't buy a lot of Anastasia palettes. Like, I skipped out on the Riviera. I skipped out on the Nervina. I skipped out on. She did like some type of other collab. The Alyssa. Was it Alyssa? I don't know. But for the most part, I don't buy a lot of her palettes, even though I feel like I reach for them when I do. Like, my Soft Glam one, if I just need a foolproof makeup, like day, I grab it. So this actually like, I was surprised, but I was like, I, I want this. So, so I got it. 
I'm really excited about it. Like the tones in here just look really pretty. The shimmers look really pretty. I don't feel like they're exact duplicates. I know that they're similar, but um, I'm really excited to see what it's all about. I paid for two day shipping and it's not here yet. Okay, Anastasia, talk to me about that. Anyways, though, I'm very excited about it. I, I will definitely do a review as soon as I get the palette in, but yes. And then another palette that's coming out is the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. I feel like it's, I don't know, like it's weird to me that he's coming out with another palette, you know? I just feel like his brand does really well with palettes, so why would he come out with one that's like a lesser quality? Not to say that it's going to be, but to be honest, I don't feel like Morphe shimmers just don't give it to me, you know? They just don't. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. Not to mention, I feel like a lot of these shades look like they're from all of his palettes, like almost like the Jawbreaker and the Alien palette put together. So I'm kind of like, do I wanna do it? Do I wanna try it? Like, yes, no, I don't know. Um, so definitely let me know what you guys think, but it's usually the shimmers that I'm disappointed with when it comes to Morphe type palettes. But it's only $35, so I'm trying to like, in my head, I'm like, it's not that expensive, you can get it, plus you get a discount, you know? I'm like, stop it. <laughs> But the brushes, I think I will skip over. I can always use new brushes. I feel like, especially for colorful looks, I'd never wanna use my high-end ones, like my Sonia G's. Um, I only reach for hers when I'm doing more neutral looks, cause I just, you know, like the purples and pinks kind of stain the brushes as well. I also don't wash my brushes as much as I shoot. Don't judge me, you know? So, but it is, it is $42 and I'm kind of like, don't, don't do it. Um, another thing that is coming out, Fenty is coming out obviously with the foundation and the primer. Foundation, I'm definitely gonna try. The primer, I think I'll skip on. I just don't get excited to buy primers. It's kind of like I buy them as I use them, but I don't get like super excited. And the same with powders, like the new Anastasia powder looks really nice, but I don't feel like I'm like, you already have the Jeffree Star, the Huda, and the Fenty one that I'm using now and like rotating. And I still have a lot of product to go through. So I'm like, it's not, don't do it. There is the sale, so I might, but I'm trying not to. Um, by the way, this look will be on my channel with the Get Ready With Me soon. Let's see what else Yeah. Ooh, Fenty's coming out with brow products. 14 shades, which is exciting. I am really excited for these. The only thing is I can't tell if they have a spoolie on the other end or if it's just the pencil. So we'll kind of see where that goes. Violet Voss is coming out with a new palette. It is it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Electric palette. Um, it is, let's see, it's the Vibes palette or Coral Crush palette. It says both. So it looks really nice, but I haven't tried Violet Voss. There's a palette called like Life, something with Life, where it has a lot of glitter shades in there. And I'm actually really interested in that, but I've never tried her formula before. So definitely let me know what you guys think. I definitely don't need this neon palette, but you guys know I'm so obsessed with this neon trend right now that I feel like it's a good like palette to have right now. And I wasn't impressed with the Huda Beauty ones. So I'm, I'm kind of looking at it, but I'm like, you don't, you don't need it, you know? KKW again is coming out with an all matte collection. I just don't get interested in her collections anymore. I was interested in the fire one, but I haven't heard anyone talking about it which is odd. Like I felt like that was actually like out of her box a little, but I haven't heard anything. So this all matte one though, just really does not tickle my fancy in any way. Let's see. Next up, there's a product I really wanted to talk about and I can't figure out what it was. This is the second time I filmed this because my audio wasn't recording. So it's been a day. Soul Body is coming out with a lot of products. Um, Again, the body glitters, I'm over it. I took them on vacation, guess what? They didn't come out. But yeah, the soul and body ones, they just don't like, they look nice. This, I keep saying soul and body, I don't know why. It's not your soul and your body, it's just soul body. Um, but I just don't reach for, you know, you're not gonna reach for too many glitters, you know what I mean? So you don't need a ton. So I'm trying to skip on those, especially because I always forget to use them. Um, but I do like that there's now so many more affordable options. So maybe in the future, you know, maybe, but not right now, for sure. Not right now or anytime soon. And then another big release that I'm gonna pass on is the Kylie Birthday Collection. I know I always buy the nude lip. I love her high glasses, but I just, and the packaging is very bougie, 
and I do like it. I hate that word. I hate saying it like when it comes out of my mouth, I'm just like, well, take it back. Um, but I just, I feel like it's just so many repeats. I would love it if she came back with like her wet set or like her loose highlighters are one of her, my favorites from her, but she's coming out with a body one, but then I don't want the body one. I want the face ones. So for the first time ever, especially since it's this for a VIB, I think I am going to skip in this collection. I love the eye glazes. I might pick them up in the future. Um, but yeah, they just, she's, I just need something newer from her or to bring back the formulas that I really, really enjoy. So even though it's for charity and I'm trying to be like, don't buy it. Cause I know myself, I'd be like, oh, it's for charity. I should buy it. You know, I'm helping people by buying this makeup. It's ridiculous. I am not, I'm not going to buy this collection. Um, and then Mario might be coming out with another palette. Is it bad to say that I hope it's kind of with ABH rather than with KKW? I just never reached for mine. I don't know why. I like Anastasia's formula better. Um, not that KKW's is bad, but I just don't want to see the same palette. You know, I just want to see something new. But that is it for me for new releases. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to tell me which releases you guys are excited for. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one.